Mr Shimon, what brings you down then to the Family Library today? Well, it's an open day. It's obviously a very important issue for the public. We as politicians have been lobbied quite heavily by the public in support of the mobile library and the public li uh, the family library. So want to come down, talk to the staff, talk to the people, find out firsthand what it's all about. It seemed, from what I was hearing your conversations, you, you are a supporter of these services. I think every politician and every member of our community is supportive of things that are good for the people of the island. Yeah, but you're cutting them. Um, yeah, and that's the issue at the moment, which is where there's been a lot of support lobbied by the users of these services. We're aware of those. I think we're surprised by just how strong the support has been. Uh, I wanted to come down, and I'm sure most of the other politicians will, to hear firsthand from the families involved. And we will be talking about, as we are with all issues in government, to see if there is an alternative way. Interesting to say you're surprised by that support. Surely this is always going to be one of those things that you, you would get an emotive response to. There are going to be many difficult decisions and preschool and Glenside and public sector housing have all been challenging. I think the level of feeling on this has surprised me that there are so many young families who rely upon this and maybe I hadn't realised that and certainly it's something which we have to take into account. I don't know what the future holds but certainly I'm better informed about how it's used and how the people feel it's valued for them and their children. OK, let's be very clear about this. Are you supporting the closure of this, I, as, as a government cutback, will you be you know, voting for it? I and mean, Have you already voted for it? I have already voted for it. I'm a member of the Council of Ministers. We've made difficult decisions. There is ongoing dialogue about preschool. There's also ongoing dialogue about the mobile and the family library. Um, I don't think we'll be able to easily find a solution, but certainly we're working towards seeing if there are alternatives. Do you think you'd be wrong-footed on this one? Yes. I, I think that the, the reality is that we anticipated the difficulty with the preschool, but I think many people have realised that there is an inequality about that already. Um, I think that people realise that that's a lottery code as to where you live, whether you do or don't get the service. I think with regards to the family library, uh, maybe we were surprised just how much use it gets because um, from what I'm seeing, it's a hidden gem. I don't think it promotes itself heavily, but the users find it a fabulous opportunity. Um, I'm surprised by just how strong the feeling is. So yes, wrong-footed a little bit, and we now need to look to see what options have been looked at, can be looked at, and see if there is any way of still providing a service. See, that's the interesting bit here. It sounds like there could be a U-turn yet ahead on this one. Not from what I've said. I think we're looking at all of these things. The budget comes along, departments make decisions. Um, the reality at the moment is that the department have notified that there will be a closure. We are talking politically because we serve the people. Um, we know the strength of feeling. That means there will be more political discussion about it. Um, at the moment, there is no U-turn. I think it's difficult decisions, difficult times. It's not something which has been done easily or without thought. Um, I'm now better informed than I was previously because inevitably in politics, large departments, you have lots of decisions and we can't all detail, uh, have all the detail of every decision that's made. Um, so I am supportive of the budget. I'm supportive that difficult decisions have been made. This is one that I'll look to see if there is any way of providing some level of service into the future. Comin doesn't have many children in, in the group there, do they? You know, family members, we're right in saying that? So it's not affecting a lot of people within Comin? I think you're implying the wrong thing with saying that we, it, it doesn't affect us. I think possibly there's a lack of awareness because my children are now 20 is the youngest and so it's a long time since I've used these facilities and I think that um, there would be a lack of awareness of just how strongly it's felt by the people who use this facility. Maybe that's me out of step, maybe it's council ministers, but certainly the overwhelming support for the staff involved has been heartwarming. I think the people who use the service really value the people who are here, and I think that does them great credit, and that's something that I wasn't personally aware of until this blew up. Um, so I'm better informed, we always try to be, and um, there's some way to go, but we will have to try and see if this is the best way of making those cuts.